Hi, I'm Jason Gorman from Codemanship with another code, Codemanship Code Smell of the Week. This time we're going to be looking at comments. Some of you might be surprised to hear that comments are considered a code smell. Well, yes they are in fact. Comments are usually an indication, a pointer to code that is difficult to understand. Ideally what we want is code that is self-explanatory, that doesn't require comments. Um, so whenever, whenever I see comments I always think, what is it about this code that needs explaining? And why can't the code explain itself? The other problem with comments, of course, like all documentation, they get out of step with the code very quickly and have to be maintained. So they create another overhead of burden. And also, whenever I look at code that's a big sea of green comments and you know little bits of actual executable code in, in, interspersed between them, I tend to find that much more difficult to read than the code without the comments. So comments, yes, they're a code smell. And we're going to get rid of these comments in this debit method here. I'm going to start by extracting a method from this block of code and I'm going to use the comment as the method name. So update last debit date. And of course we run the tests. So we haven't lost the explanation in the comment, we've just moved it into the code. We've made the code explain itself. I can get rid of this comment now. And I'm going to do the same again with this line of code here, under this second comment. Extract a method, and we're going to use record transaction, the comment, as the method name. So we've moved the explanation into the code, and of course we run the tests. And now we can delete this comment. OK, now I want to keep my methods at the same level of abstraction, so I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here by moving this into its own method, which is just deduct amount from balance. Um, I not only can get rid of the comment, but now these three things are all at the same level of abstraction inside our method body. For a, a more detailed explanation as to why that's a good thing, I thoroughly recommend reading Implementation Patterns by Kent Beck. OK, and finally this block of code here. Now before I extract this into its own method, there's something really niggling me about it, which is this magic number here, 1000. What is 1000? It's the maximum al allowed that you can debit. Um, now without the comment, that might not be so clear. So before I get rid of the comment, what I want to do is I want to extract a constant and give the constant a meaningful name, max debit allowed. And of course we run the tests. Now I'm going to extract this whole block into its own method. And again, I'm going to use the comment, check amount does not exceed max allowed. Now I'm going to say max debit allowed, because we're moving this out of the context of the debit method now. So we need to be a bit more specific about what we mean. Okay, check amount does, does not <laughs> does not exceed max debit allowed. We do that, we run the tests, and the comment can go. Okay. So let me just clean up some of this white space here. OK, run all the tests. So now the comments are gone. Everything in this method is at the same level of abstraction. We haven't lost any of the explanations that were contained in the comments, and the code now speaks for itself. I thank you.